Hi guys, in this video, I'll be showing you the basics of OneNote and how to use it effectively. So let's get straight into it. The first thing you need to understand about OneNote is the hierarchical structure. So OneNote is made up of three different layers. The very top level is the notebook itself. So imagine this as a physical notepad. And the second layer within that is the different sections. So imagine this as a different chapters within a book. And then the third component is pages within those sections. So once you understand these three levels, you can navigate OneNote more effectively. So the very first thing we're going to do is create a new notebook. So as you can see on the left hand side, we've already got the default uh, notebook here. And the way to add a new one is by simply selecting the add notebook button and then save it to whatever appropriate. So I'm just going to save it to my drive. And then I'm going to give it a name. So YouTube video ideas, create notebook. And then I'm going to not invite people for now. And as you can see, I've created a new notebook called YouTube video ideas. Now, the second thing I'm going to do is create sections within this notebook. So the first section I'll do is Excel videos. And then the second section can be, let's say, PowerPoint and so on and so forth. So within each section, I would have information and pages dedicated to that particular topic. So now that we have our sections, we can start creating our pages within those different sections. So for example, we've got our first section, which is Excel videos. So my first page will be the first video idea. So let's say bar charts. So now our first page will be around bar charts. And as you can see on the right hand side, that will automatically update based on the information I've entered in the title. Adding pages is also really simple. All you need to do is press this button right here, add pages. And then again, same concept. I'm going to write something else in here. So I'm going to say pie charts. As you can see, I've got two different pages. Uh, within my section of Excel videos. So now that we've got a basic structure within OneNote, we can start adding content to our pages. And one of the things I love about OneNote is that you can literally type anywhere on the screen. So if you just select anywhere at random, you can literally start adding content, for example, like this. And this is a great way to capture quick information and quick notes whenever you, whenever an idea comes to your mind. However, if you want to get true maximum value from OneNote, then a better way to use it would be by using the tags that OneNote provides. So for example, what you can do and the way I use OneNote is to capture my actions. So for example, you can type in your actions here and you can use the drop down or this to do tag to capture a list of all your priorities and actions. So for example, you can type in all your actions as such. And once you've completed them, you can simply tick it off um, with this uh, to do tag right here. So I've just gone ahead and created some actions for myself, just so I can show you different ways in which you can use tags. So for example, if you drop press this drop down button right here, OneNote will present to you with a variety of different tags that you can use. But you can also customize and create your own tags if none of these are fit for purpose. So for example, on the first one, I'm going to select this critical tag to remind me that this task is critical and urgent. Some of the other tags you can use is remember for later. So what OneNote will do is it will take this action and put it in the remember for later category. So you can easily refer to it later on. And some of the other ones you can use is, uh, for example, this project um, tags right here. So if I select project A, this would imply that this particular action belongs to the project A category. Another cool feature within OneNote is the ability to draw on the pages. So for example, if I go in the PowerPoint section right here and select draw and select one of these buttons right here, it will give me the ability to draw directly on the page. Of course, this is more better when you're using a tablet rather than using a mouse. But again, it gives you the ability to draw directly on pages, which is great for designers and anyone in that particular field. The other cool thing is you can add shapes directly to your page as well. Um, and it gives you some basic shapes to play with. Again, that could be a good feature for those who are bit more artistic and creative um, for their particular work. So that was the video guys, a basic intro to OneNote. 
If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to like, and don't forget to comment down below. And until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye.